Hey everyone, this is Andrew Ty and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to get games like Xenoblade Chronicles 2, which is a Switch exclusive, running through emulation on the Steam Deck. So this is going to be running through the Yuzu emulator and I'm going to show you how to go ahead and set this up so you can go ahead and run this on your own Steam Deck. So if you haven't subscribed already, then please consider subscribing. It only takes a moment to do, but it really helps to support this channel and the work that I do. So the first thing that we're going to do is to go and head and boot up into desktop mode. So we're going to use the Steam menu here. I'm going to go to power and I'm going to switch to the desktop menu. So once we've logged into the Steam Deck desktop mode, we're going to go to the Discover Center here. I'm going to open this up and then we're going to search for Yuzu. So this is going to be the Flatpak version of the Yuzu Switch emulator. So here we found the Yuzu emulator here. What I'm going to do is go ahead and press the install button and then that's going to install this emulator for us. So once this is finished downloading, we're going to go ahead and press the launch button here and it's going to launch Yuzu for us. So here it's saying that the encryption keys are missing. So you're going to need to acquire the prod keys. So I actually have my own modded Nintendo Switch here and here we can actually go ahead and use a tool like Hecate in order to pull the prod keys from the Switch. However, it's relatively easy to find the prod.keys file from the internet if you just do a Google search for it. So what we need to do now is to put the prod.keys file into the Yuzu folder. So what you can do is get a file and then open Yuzu folder here and that's normally going to open up your Yuzu folder. However, it's not opening up for me me, so I'm going to navigate to it manually. I want to open up the Dolphin File Manager here. I want to scroll down to the left here into var. Then we're going to type in tilde forward slash dot var. And then we'll navigate into app. Then we're going to find our Yuzu folder here. And then data and then Yuzu. And then we have our keys folder here. And this is the folder where we need to put the prod.keys file which we've generated from on Nintendo Switch. So now I'm going to paste this into here. So now I've pasted the prod.keys file here. Then we're going to open up Yuzu again. And now we're ready to do some emulation. So now what we're going to do is to add a game folder to this Yuzu list. So I'm going to go to file here and click load folder. I'm going to add a folder on my SD card here. So I'm going to go to primary. I'm going to find my emulation folder, which I've already made. I'm going to click on this. And basically we're going to select the switch folder here. So instead of clicking on it, we're going to right click on it to select. And then we're going to click off it and make sure this is highlighted and then press the open button here. And now we've added this folder to our list. So we've got our two games here, Xenoblade Chronicles 2. So here under emulation, we're going to go to configure. We're going to go to graphics. I want to make sure that this has been turned to Vulkan rather than OpenGL. And this is going to run much faster. So now that we're all set up, I'm going to quit out of here. And what we're going to do is going to add this as a Steam game. So I'm going to open up Steam here. And then we're going to go to games and then add a non-Steam game to my library. And then we're going to scroll down and find Yuzu to select that and then click add selected programs. So this means that we can now launch it from the gaming mode. So I'm going to double click on here to return to gaming mode. So we're going to go to a library, then go to the non-Steam tab here. And we're going to find Yuzu has been added here. So I'm going to go ahead and launch this. So now you can see our two games are listed here. So what I recommend that you do is to go to Steam and then change some of the controller settings here. So I would really try this one, which is gamepad with mouse trackpad. And then I'll also change the trackpad on the left side to do a little bit of keyboard work. So what we want to be able to do is to make sure that we can toggle full screen with F11. And we also need to stop emulation with F5. So I would actually use the trackpad to do this. And you can go ahead and change some of the trackpad behavior. So for example, here I can change this to F11. So that's trackpad up. So if I press that button up here, or you can trackpad down and press F5 here. So you can change some of these around as you wish. You can even use the back pads too. So here I'm just going to go back. We're going to load up Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Because I've mapped this to F11, this is going to full screen. And I'm also going to bring up the performance menu so I can see what the performance is like. So in the input settings, I want to switch this to Steam Virtual Gamepad press OK. And now we have full control here. So now I'm going to toggle full screen again and then we're back in. So you can see here we're running Xenoblade Chronicles at a solid 30 frames per second and it actually works pretty well. I'm very impressed with how this works in general. I'm sure with some of the patches we could get this to work at higher than 30 FPS and we get a whole load of Switch games working on this handheld Steam Deck device. So anyway, this is how you get Switch games running through Yuzu onto the Steam Deck running through the gaming mode on the Steam OS side. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.